Have you ever seen this gif of Hulk Hogan riding a motorcycle down the road while a dude chucks a dog in a river in the background? All right, Matt, Ryan, please put that in. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Well, we are back. <laughs> yes, Aaron? Did, uh, did someone poke a hole in here? <laughs> what happened? I was too excited to play more Sonic. So I had to, I had to let some air out. Yes. Yeah. There was, That's understandable. I was air, there was air in me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Sonic. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> now that we have more tablet fragments, isn't it about time to go see the professor? By the way, uh, okay, we gotta go see the professor. By the way, um, mm -hmm. for anyone who hasn't seen it, we strongly recommend you look up- It's a very old video, but just, I can't believe you've done this. It's a British guy who started. Yeah, he starts talking about a video that he's gonna do or setting it up or something, and someone just punches him in the face out of nowhere. But instead of getting mad, he just he's just like, "Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this," <laughs> and it's just so honest and like cool. I'm like, but he's, got, but he's got a look on his face like he's shouting. He is mad. Yeah, he's genuinely mad. <sighs> oh, Sonic, it's good to have you back. I'm Amy. <laughs> Jeez. I've been so busy, I've not even had time for cucumber sandwiches. That's a callback. Am oh, I lovable did yet? It? Did he have it? He so I'll get sandwiches. right to the point. Your destination is Holoska. I had to come all the way here just to fucking have you say that to me? Probably could have emailed that to you. You're such a busy guy, we haven't even had any quality time together. Why would you ever fuck me? <laughs> Why don't you fuck me like you used to fuck me? I, I never fucked you before. <laughs> <laughs> the professor's like, why don't you fuck her? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> we, we, we've never fucked, Amy. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whoa. But what about that one time? That, that, that wasn't me, Amy. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> well, then who was it? Fucking Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Chaos Control! <laughs> 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 Oof. All right, let's get the fuck out of it. Central Bonfire. Yes. I, I really wish we were playing the 360 uh, version and we could walk around and talk to these people. Oh, what do you know? You got the tablet fragments. <sighs> you might be chosen ones after all. Um. I know I've been saying a lot of silly stuff and I apologize. Zip zap dibbity doo. <laughs> that was just a ruse, you see. I'm not crazy. You probably thought I was just a doddering old man, but I can put tablet fragments together. Here, give them to me! And he just runs away. <laughs> <laughs> That Jari Thor and Sarian are guardians too. But my role is special, don't you know? Oh, special. Huh? Let's see. Put this like this. There, your tablet. Bet you didn't think I couldn't do it. Could did uh just hit A. It looks like his beard is like some kind of device that's attached to his face that he would just like pull off and be like, clunk! Alright anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I'm not wearing that fucking thing anymore. Boy, that is weird, yeah. Not much we villagers could do about the crazy things going on in the world, but you fellows, you dot dot dot. Huh? What? Where was I? Would you like some seal blubber? What? Oh, okay, he went oh, back to being he crazy. Is crazy. Yeah, he's. Oh, at least he put together our tablet or whatever. Yeah, cool. So we got that going for us. That's a, that's an important thing, right? The tablet. And I take it to the sacred shrine and open up the doors and I do the, the levels that I hate and then I talk to more people that I hate and then um, I just basically go through a bunch of menus I hate and. That sounds good. And I go back to my life I hate. And... I'm just kidding. I love my life. Hey, okay, so we just got back from, uh, first of all, I apologize for how I sound. I've, my allergies are going nuts today. Um, Wait, why don't you take any histamines? I, sh I would love to. Antihistamines. We didn't have any in the office. What? Yes, I know. Oh. I know. Could have gotten you some clary tin. Oh. Or some Benadryl. That would have been delightful. Or some Nasonex. Okay, cool. Thanks thanks for reminding me of all the wonderful substances which would make my life better right now. Flossing my toes with the Wiimote cord. Cool, thanks. Oh shit. What Is this a fuck? boss? Yeah, it's gotta be. I'm trapped. He's light blue and purple, which means enemy. Whoa! Oh man, seeing Sonic just made his blood boil. He's like me. <laughs> thanks, dude. Yeah, You've been he's very really helpful. Help. 
All right, so we just got back from what? Oh, we just got back from touring, and uh, we had a great time in yeah. Salt Lake City and yeah, boy. Uh, Vegas and Arizona, and mm -hmm. and then a hometown show in L.A. Yeah. But here's the thing about Arizona: we played Tucson. Great crowd, and uh, one of the things I promised uh, the people of Tucson, this guy stood up and he was like, "I really, really." want you to read more Sonic fan fiction the next time you play Unleashed. Oh, shit. And I was like, you know what, dude? I'm gonna remember it. And I'm gonna shout out Tucson when it happens. And, uh, that way, if the rest of the world is like... Comments and he's like, I was at the Vegas show. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll see. <laughs> no, I actually wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Okay. <laughs> but I found myself a quality Sonic fan fiction. Since we, uh, since we read, uh, about Sonic, oh my God. uh, Banging, uh, who was it last time? Tails? No. Was it Tails? It was, uh... Was it Canucks? Princess... Not Princess Peach. Princess Toadstool? Who the fuck was it? Who did, who jerks off Sonic and he's like, well, that's one way to wake up. <laughs> I think <laughs> it was Princess Peach. Oh, maybe it was Princess Peach. Okay. <laughs> that's one way to wake up. Well, then you better get ready for another Princess Peach... Hell yes. Uh, Sonic fanfiction. Um... This is, uh... There and take it. This is from Sonic's Ultimate Harem by Lil Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked through a lot of them. Uh... <laughs> but this was my absolute favorite. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna read a couple of random... Oh, random pieces. Oh, please. Okay. I... First of all, there's an author's note at the beginning. This is chapter 50. <laughs> this is all extra true. Yeah. Wow, 50 chapters already, and now I have, like, over 30,000 views of this story. This story has become very, very, and very popular, and everyone is enjoying this story so far. I would like to thank you all for the major support, the views, and especially the reviews to this story, turning out to be a great success, knowing how popular this is so far. Anyway, here's the next chapter you've all been waiting for. Enjoy. Okay, so there's a part where Sonic fights Mario. Wait, we haven't- we haven't read part one yet! No, dude, there's 50 chapters! Like, I'm just- I'm just- I'm just getting to the good stuff. Okay. I, as far as I'm concerned, the entire story is the good stuff. Oh, Sonic, hi, Peach greeted. Hey there, Peach. How are you? Sonic greeted happily. I'm doing okay. Well, a little sad, of course. Of oh, course. What that? Can we talk over at my castle and I'll tell you? Sure thing. Let's get going then. Minutes later. Ooh. The two arrived to Peach's castle and heads on inside the castle. They then head on over to Peach's bedroom. So what's on your mind? Sonic asked. Sonic, I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, Peach responded sadly. Mario? Is it Mario? Dude, you're right on the wavelength I'm with, participating. With, this author, with this author. No, someone else, and we've been dating for three months until I caught him cheating with another woman. What? Oh, that's too bad. Are you going to be okay? I guess so. I hope so. This is Sonic talking. Peach, listen to me. You are a beautiful. Is this written like a screenplay? Yes. Why is there no, like, stage direction or anything? You know what? We're not here to criticize, Aaron. We're here to celebrate. Well, I'm just curious. I want to. I want to know if Sonic like lightly pressed his hedgehog paw. Listen, on, on her pink dress. There's about to be a lot of that. Comforting her soul or whatever. I hope so. Peach, listen to me. You are a beautiful and a attractive woman, <laughs> and you're better than him. You don't need him. Go out with Mario. He's always been there for you, comfort you, making you smile. Have you being happy and give you hope and faith in him when he always beats Bowser and save your life and save the world, I guess. But, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, he's, he's better than that guy and he will make you feel more happy. He'll give you love, compassion, loyalty, respect, and honesty. You will help you and you, make you feel you better. will help you? You think so? Of course, and I know it. Straight from my heart and soul. Thank you so much, Sonic. That means a lot to me. Um... Is Sonic, like, her, her gay girl boyfriend? Wait. You're welcome, and I'm glad I can help. Anyway, are you feeling any better? A little bit. Is that so? Then I know a way to make you feel better. Really? What's that? You'll see soon enough. Sonic then pushes Peach to the bed gently and gets on top of Peach. Peach wonder why Sonic push her and puzzling with answers until Sonic leaned down to Peach and kisses her neck, caressing her body with his hands, oh, which brought Peach to feel the soft pleasure making her feel good. Oh my god. Oh, Peach That's moaned. Fucking raunchy. Feeling any better now? Sonic asked. Yes, I am at this moment, I am. Take me right now, Sonic. I want to feel you inside of me. 
I always admire you and grown attached to you. Make love to me right now, Sonic. Oh my god. Yes, your majesty. Whoa! Sonic went on to kiss Peach by the neck, smothering it. Dude, he just told her to get with Mario! Peach also wrapped her hands around Sonic, softly moaning to this feeling, the sensation rising on her. Oh, Sonic, it's all yours. My body is all yours. Oh Peach my god! Mother. Afterwards, Sonic got off of Peach, and Peach let herself up from the bed and pulling Sonic for a kiss on the lips. Oh, dude. Sonic returns the kiss, having his hands wrap around Peach's hips. Peach then moan with on to the kiss, and seconds passes by. Sonic slide down his hand to Peach's rear and softly gropes it, meaching, making Peach jump to surprise. They start to wrestle their tongues as they were tongue kissing each other, slobbing and licking each other's tongues before going on with the regular kiss. Whoa, dude. The kiss had lasted on for 12 minutes. 12 minutes?! <laughs> and Sonic broke the kiss. God! Peach was now out of her zone and decided to take off her pink shirt, showing her cleavage with a pink, pink bra on. Oh, nice. Sonic took off his black fingerless gloves and his shirt off, throwing them to the Wait, side. what? That's not on model. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck kind of Sonic is this? But would you just fucking go with it, man? I'm- this is hot. Peach- <laughs> <laughs> You're, Shut up, you're ruining my boner you're right now! You're fucking killing my chub! <laughs> Peach, walk on- <laughs> Peach walk on over to Sonic and caressing Sonic's chest and kissing him on the lips once again, having Sonic returning the kiss. Ooh. Peach went on to rub That's on Sonic. kiss. Peach, <laughs> Peach went on to rub on Sonic's crotch, feeling his shaft erected to its full what size. What shaft? He has none. After a few minutes of kissing, Peach then turned on her radio, playing an old school classic, which it's all in bold text. Barry White, I'm gonna love you just a little more, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Back to regular text. Peach helps Sonic unzip his pants, pulling them down, and Sonic- What pants?! Sonic's <laughs> he doesn't wear pants! <laughs> Would you just let me finish this? I'm sorry! Sonic soon took off his shoes and pants off, including his socks. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the best. Shout out to Lil' Sonic, you fucking killed this. This is awesome. Oh my god. He now had on his boxers on, and he then unzipped Peach's shorts, and she then pulled them down, showing her pink thong on. Ooh, nice. She, she took off her shoes and socks off also. Plus, Peach then take off her thong and throwing them to the side, smiling sexily. Sexily? Peach then got down to her knee- wait. Peach then got down on her knees and start to stroke Sonic's shaft, softly looking up at Sonic. A few seconds later, Peach then went on sucking off Sonic slowly and softly. Whoa, dude! Sonic soon began to moan softly, but quietly, feeling the pressure from Peach's mouth, sucking him off softly. <laughs> a lot of softly going on. Pe Peach bop her head back and <laughs> forth in rhythm, moaning softly. Don't throw off my rhythm of reading this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna cut ahead. We're gonna Sonic, cut ahead. Sonic, I bet the professor has found somewhere new to explore. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So is Sonic in this story? <laughs> A new cave in which to spelunk. <laughs> Peach rolled her eyes, feeling the sensation rising inside her as the lust then start to take control of her entire body, obeying Sonic's command of excitement. Oh my god. They spend 22 minutes in the sexual position until they switch positions as Peach got on doggy position on the bed and s as Sonic thrusting himself in Peach. Peach looked down- This is how I describe my sexual experience. <laughs> Peach- like What happened last night? I- I spent 22 minutes in the doggy position. Listen, just cause you're not a fucking great artist, doesn't mean you have to give- it doesn't mean you have to criticize others. Hey. Peach looked down, eyes closed, grabbing the bed sheets, moaning with excitement, enjoying the sexual feeling. Oof. Sonic grabbed hold onto Peach's hips, thrusting hard and fast inside of Peach. I'm going to read each of these. Go for it. Oh, Sonic, that's the spot right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, Peach moaned. Oh, Sonic. Oh, Sonic, yes, right there. After spending 48 minutes, they switch positions again. Jesus Christ. You would you would think that because he's so fast that they would just... It's been over an hour! Open your mouth, Peach, here it comes, Sonic commanded. Peach did what- this is- uh, this will be the last I read of this. 
Peach did what Sonic requ- Oh, wait. Okay, sorry, plot. We gotta- we've gotta- This is much more interesting than, okay. than what you were- you were reading. Are you serious? Yeah. How dare you? I mean, look at this. He's- he's saying things, and then there's a little robot that says things. I mean, all this happening in the story that you were reading was, um, Peach and Sonic were fucking. <laughs> That's was way incredible. less interesting. Yeah. Princess Peach. Of Mario fame. And Sonic- this is- this is post-Sonic, um, telling her that- that Mario is good for him- her. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, thanks for the advice, and he was like, I'll give you some fucking advice, and then he just fucking <sighs> lays her down. Yeah, that's actually true. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, I'll get we some have energy, energy conversion, conversion circuits? circuits warmed up. All right. Final clearance. Does that mean we're getting towards the end of this game? Well, yeah, I think there's two or three more floating parts of the planet to really? put back. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it is pretty sweet, isn't it? It's, um... Good times, Dan. Okay, back to what's important. Okay, good. Peach did what Sonic requested her to do, opening her mouth and sticking her tongue out, looking up directly at Sonic, and seconds later, Sonic began to ejaculating, bursting his cum onto Peach's face Whoa. and mouth. Peach jerked away as more cum start to burst onto her face. She licked her lips and went on to suck on Sonic's shaft some more. Ah, that felt good. Sonic sighed in relief. Sonic, I had a- first of all, uh, shout out to anyone watching this with their parents. Sorry about this. Sonic, I had a good time with you, and the sex was wonderful, Peach complimented. Then Tails said, woo, it's hot. So did I, and I'm glad I was able to help you. Either way, I hope we don't do this again since I made you feel better. Wait, what? I hope so too. Dude, we're in 16 minutes, we gotta fucking end the episode! This is the end. I hope so too, and if Mario doesn't want to have some fun, perhaps you could entertain me one day once again. Hmm, maybe if you're feeling lucky. <laughs> perhaps then, again, thank you so much. You're welcome. Your Majesty. Oh, Lil Knuckles. Lil Knuckles. That's who wrote this. Oh, thank God we could clear that up. Dude, I mean, congrats to Lil Knuckles. Fucking, you killed it. Yeah, Lil Knuckles, this you killed it. This is Sonic's ultimate harem, if you want to read and enjoy. You Because there's 50 more Knuckles. chapters. Oh, okay. That was chapter what? Seven? That was chapter 50, dude. Oh my God. Yeah. Fucking rock and roll. And that goes out to the people of Tucson, Arizona. You're so welcome. And if anyone else was like, Man, that was- I hated that. You can blame Tucson. <laughs> Cause I had nothing to do with it. Oh, did you not? Nope. No, not a single thing? I'm mere- dude, I'm merely a vessel for God to work his <laughs> magic through. <laughs> and God is Lil Knuckles. See you later, everybody! Bye. Bye! Oh, that was fun. I like helping young artists... ...get their work out there. Good exposure, you know? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah, he wrote that shit for people to enjoy it.